how is lockdown treating you? How are you feeling at the moment? Uh, I'm pretty busy. So work is, you know, keeping me occupied. But outside of that, I guess I don't get to do the things I would normally do, which are very, a lot of social interaction, engagement. So, you know, dinners, visiting people, those are off the cards at the moment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's good to have a bit of downtime, but there's only so much downtime you can really yeah, enjoy. I feel like everyone's done with the Netflix queues, man. I feel like everyone's just oh, ready to go back out. Definitely. I can't, I can't look at a screen at night after I've been on a screen all day for work. It's just, it's not it's not fun yeah it's full on but one thing you're doing that a lot of people are struggling to do is you've got like you're working out every day still i am training is probably the only thing keeping me sane right now it's the only time i move my body because once i get to my desk that's it i don't move for the rest of the day yeah so i like to do it in the morning to keep my routine going get my body get active so that was that's exactly what i was about to say mm -hmm. is you're freaky like that in that you still wake up about 6 a.m and train early morning how do you have that motivation to do that while we're in lockdown well if you know my normal routine 6 a.m is a bit of a sleep in i'm usually up at about you know just before five mm -hmm. so now i'm getting up just after six so i'm still keeping not my usual routine but some kind of routine to keep me from yeah losing my mind like from slipping into bad habits like just sleeping in being lazy i want to keep some of my usual things in place does that keep your momentum going throughout the day yeah for sure it helps me like be able to focus on work, feel like I've achieved something. It's a good feeling. Yeah, nice. So, well, that, I think that's the hardest part is trying to keep yourself busy throughout the day and keep your mind moving because it's just so easy just to slip into a slump or I'll have that quick 10 minute nap and then just die out for the rest of it. Yeah, that's something I have to phase out. I was having pretty much lunch naps almost every day. I'd get to bed oh, for like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I stopped that a while ago. Though. I miss them, but. It's better not to like, look, sometimes you need it. It's, it's great that we have the access to it. Like, you know, you have the, you're right there and you're at the time, but it's definitely wasn't, I noticed it wasn't a good habit to have frequently because it did throw you off. makes it harder to get back into work after that. So 